I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank my student Ria for asking this question. It will help me to explain you a few concepts also. In this video, we will learn the concept of collinear points. The question here is, consider the points A, 3, 2, B, K8 and C, K plus 7, 29. Find the coordinates of the points A and C when the given points are collinear. So let's try to understand the word collinear means what? So lying in the same line. So, so you find the words combination with collinear. It means the points are on the same line. So that is the meaning of the word collinear. Now how do you figure it out? So if I have, let's say, let's take up uh, points. For example, if there's one point, and joining the other point, we can definitely make a line. Now, if the third point is not along this line, let us say the third point is somewhere there, then they are not collinear. And clearly, the slope between these points is also not the same, correct? So slope between, let us say, the points A and B, let's call this point as P. So slope between A and B and BP or AP is not same, correct? However, if there is a point which is along the same line, let's call this point as C. In that case, you'll find that the slope between AB, BC, and AC will be same, correct? So you can check slope between any two points to ensure that they are collinear. So the concept here is points will share same slopes. So we are looking for same line means same slope. So that helps you to uh, find the points. Good. So let's find slope between two points. So we should definitely cover a point which is totally given to us. A is 3, 2. So we'll find in this case slope from A to other two points. So basically we'll try to find the slope between A and B. And we'll also find slope between A and C. And then we'll equate them. That's the whole idea. So what is the slope between A and B? The formula for slope, as you know, is m equals to change in y divided by change in x. Correct? We'll use this formula to find the slope. So A and B, 8 minus 2. When you write A and B, then A is the first point and B is the second point, right? Okay. So, A and B, 8 minus 2, y2 minus y1, divided by k minus 3, x2 minus x1. Now, that gives you 8 minus 2 is 6 over k minus 3. For AC, A to C, 29 minus 3, divided by k plus 7. So you have to write k plus 7 as such. Minus, I'm sorry, 29 minus 2, sorry. k plus 7 minus 3. Right? This is the y2 value. And that simplifies to 27 over k plus 4. Right? So this is m a to c. Slope between a to b is 6 over k minus 3. Now for them to be collinear, so when you say they are collinear, that means these two slopes are equal. Right? So we can form an equation which is 6 over k minus 3 equals to 27 over k plus 4. Now you can actually simplify this a bit. You can divide both by 3, let's do it. It's easy, right? I mean, it's better to simplify. Because when we just cross multiply, we are left with bigger numbers. So divide by 3, we could write this as 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 9 is 27. Is it okay? So first we'll simplify. It's a good practice to simplify and then do. 
and now we'll cross multiply. So we'll get two times k plus 4 equals to 9 times k minus 3. Even if you skip this step, uh, you'll get the same values. We are using calculators, so no problems. So we get 2k plus 8 equals to 9k minus 27. So at this stage, I have applied distributive property. You have to multiply both the terms over the term outside. So that is the distributive property which you have learned. To solve for k, we should bring k's together and the constants together. So bringing 27 to the left makes it positive 27 plus 8 equals to that will be 9k minus 2k. Is it okay? Let me take all this to the right side and to find the value of the k. So 9k minus 2k is 7k and 27 plus 8 is 35. Okay, So we have 7k equals to 35 or k is equals to 35 divided by 7. So we get k as equals to 5. Once you find the value of k, you can find both the points, correct? B is k8, k is 5 and therefore point B is 5, 8. C is k plus 7, 29. So C could be written as 5 plus 7, 29. So C is 5 plus 7 is 12, 29. So these are the coordinates of our points. For point B, the coordinate point is 5, 8. And point C is 12, 29. Correct? So that is how you need to solve. Remember, collinear means points lying along the same line. So their slopes should be same. That helps us to solve such questions. I hope that helps. Feel free to post your suggestions and comments. Thanks for watching.